And when a man is sexually depleted, when he's hormonally depleted, he has no drive. He has no willpower. He has no ambition to change the world, to create what he wants to create. He's simply going to sit at home, plugged into a TV screen, taking drugs, drinking alcohol, eating garbage foods, watching porn. And this is the modern man living in a cage. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can manifest your ideal life. If you wanna learn more about sexual mastery, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when I release new videos. Make sure you get my free ejaculation control course through the link in the video description below. So in this video, I'm going to talk about sexual depletion and how it's basically becoming the new normal and how this is affecting every aspect of your life if this is the case for you. So in our current age, it's considered normal for a man to have an erection that's semi-hard. It's normal for a man to have a low sperm count. It's normal for a man to uh, not have enough stamina to last more than five minutes during sex. And a testosterone level of 500 is considered a normal level for men. For our grandparents, the average testosterone level was more like 1200. And all these sexual dysfunctional issues that were you know, being told are normal to experience as we get, enter into our 30s and 40s, they used to be much less common, we could say, right? And the truth is that we're being domesticated into a weak species. In our society, we have processed, chemical-filled foods instead of natural, organic, whole foods that are fresh from nature. We have pharmaceutical drugs created in a laboratory by mass-scale drug dealers instead of natural healing herbs exercise and a holistic lifestyle. The majority of men in this world experience sex as an image on a screen that they're watching instead of having a real human connection. This overstimulates the brain and the endocrine system to not function properly and eventually atrophy. We have stressful, fear-filled news on the screen that people spend their time watching instead of going out in the world, engaging with humans, having fun, observing the world firsthand, right? And so these are just some of the ways that we are being controlled and manipulated and and weakened as a species through our diet, through our sexual habits, through the information we hear, through Western pharmaceutical medicine. And this is causing unprecedented levels of depletion on all levels in humans. And of course, this always manifests as sexual depletion. Your hormone system dries up and you no longer feel healthy and vital like you did when you were much younger, right? And this leads to this downward spiral in your life because you start to accept the state of depletion and, you know, often it leads to depression, it leads to anxiety. You start taking drugs, you start trying to, you know, replace this lost vitality with other external things that aren't so harmonious, right? Right? and just becomes this downward spiral. And unfortunately, this is the common path of the modern man, a path of sexual depletion, a path of unfulfillment, a dead end. And when a man is sexually depleted, when he's hormonally depleted, he has no drive. He has no willpower. He has no ambition to change the world, to create what he wants to create. He's simply gonna sit at home and plugged into a TV screen, taking drugs, drinking alcohol, eating garbage foods, watching porn, and this is the modern man living in a cage with these instant gratification, very addictive outlets. And for me, this is not a fulfilling path, and that's what got me into the path of holistic health, energy cultivation, sexual kung fu practices, because I experienced that depletion. I experienced that dead end of being stuck in this control system, eating toxic foods, viewing toxic material on the screen, just living my life in this endless loop of uh, repeating other people's thoughts, other people's information that I'd heard, and allowing these things to control my life. I had a huge wake-up call to the control system that is a lot of modern Western medicine. When I was about 18 years old, I had these warts that kept growing on my hands. So I started going to you know, a dermatologist, whatever, to have these warts removed. And I remember they told me there's no known cure for warts. You know, and anything we do, it may not be effective. So they burned them off, and then the warts grew back. like three or four times as many as there was. And they did all kinds of things. They gave me like chemical things. They gave me allergic reactions, basically months and months of this. And it was miserable all over one little wart I had in my hand and nothing was working. It was costing a lot of time, a lot of money, and it was going nowhere. It was making things worse for me because I had more and more warts growing on my hands because of the things that these doctors had done to me, right? One day I, w I decided to go on the internet and just look up, hey, maybe there's you know a better way to do this, right? And I went on this website and it said that if you put apple cider vinegar on your wart, soak it overnight, that the wart will go away. And I'm like, whatever, what do I have to lose? You know? So I go to the store, I spend like $3 buying some apple cider vinegar, some cotton swabs, and I do as the website said. I soaked this cotton in vinegar and I bandaged it to these warts on my hand overnight. I woke up in the middle of the night with this throbbing pain and the warts peeled off. They never came back. So months and months, you know, spending hundreds of dollars in doctor fees, you know, painful treatments that didn't even work that actually made things worse. 
and I ended up fixing it with a $3 bottle of apple cider vinegar. This in a nutshell sums up uh, our modern situation with Western medicine, with these control systems of pharmaceutical drugs, which are not there to heal you, they're there to keep you in the system. When you start shooting this weird stuff in your body, you become a lifelong customer because your body becomes compromised. So you have all these weird issues come up, so you go to a doctor and what do they do? They put you on drugs. It doesn't cure the root of what's causing the issues, it simply numbs the symptoms. You stay a lifelong customer. This is a multi-trillion dollar industry and this is the reality of the world, right? And so thankfully for me, it took a very, very minor issue such as warts growing on my hand. You know, it didn't have to be like a chronic disease or some other thing that's been other people's wake up calls to how our system is a control system, right? So basically, how this relates to sexual depletion is you don't need you know expensive doctor bills you don't need some designer drug to reclaim your vitality and your sexual function and to boost your testosterone levels naturally all you need to do is get back into a harmonious natural lifestyle having a holistic diet based on real foods fresh from nature no boxes with long lists of ingredients start to meditate start to Empty your mind of all the programming, all these looping programs that have been forced upon you since you were a child, right? So you start to think for yourself instead of just repeating other people's thoughts. Start exercising your body. Your body needs to move. Your blood needs to move every day. If you spend every day sitting on the couch, not moving, you become very stagnant. Your organs stop working correctly. Your endocrine system dries up. Conscious sexuality is another very important aspect. Sex is something that's been very, very hijacked. We've basically been programmed to engage in sex in ways that depletes us, right? As men, we're programmed to ejaculate every time we have sex. You have this lust-driven impulse to ejaculate daily. That is a very depleting habit. Learn to open your heart and redirect your sexual energy upwards during your sexual experiences and you will actually gain energy instead of losing it. Practice cultivating your energy, your internal energy, your chi, your prana, life force. This will nourish your body because this is basically the the underlying river that's feeding your body the energy matrix is the underlying structure of our physical body and when our energy flow is out of balance we experience disease we experience disharmony so doing practices that build your internal energy qigong is my favorite is a very effective way of keeping yourself healthy happy charged up and energized and finally spending time in nature is so important it's extremely difficult to stay mentally physically and emotionally balanced when you spend 24 seven in a large city, right? There's a lot of factors working against you. So getting out into nature reconnects you to the natural flow of energy. It's very calming, gets you out of fight or flight, problem solving mode, and connects you into the natural flow of energy in the universe. When you spend time in nature, you feel better. You feel more sexual desire. You feel more potency. So these are some very practical ways that you can integrate into your lifestyle to start to reclaim your sexual vitality. No more making excuses. No more saying, well, it's, it's normal for modern men to be like this. You don't have to be like that. Everyone right now has the tools to keep themselves healthy, to keep themselves happy and energized. It's just a matter of doing the work, changing your habits, changing your lifestyle, and becoming who you want to be. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to go deep into training your mind and your body to harness internal energy, to balance yourself, to keep yourself energized every day, and to learn to have non-ejaculatory orgasms, channel your sexual energy, and last for hours in bed, check out my 12-week course, Multi-Orgasmic Man. I'll put more information in the description of this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Have a great day, my friends.